Okay. Hey, Bob. Let me just. just I think so. Can everybody hear us? Okay, yay. Can you guys hear us? Hopefully they can. They're so lovely. Oh, they're so lovely. Oh, they're so lovely. Well, it's okay. Candy, some soda, some Hi. Hi, purple wave over here. There's Aubrey. Hi, everybody. Okay, I think everybody's here. Hopefully, you can hear us. Can we have a thumbs up if you can hear us? Okay, good. Huh? All right. Hey, there's Reese. Hey, there's Red. Okay, so hello, guys. Welcome to another Saturday drawing class. Um, Hi. And Coco, everyone, good to be drawing a cat. So we're going to be drawing a cat and an elephant. Oh, um, yeah. In any environment you want. I know Rhett wanted to do our space. I know maybe Kinsey wanted to do a flower crown on her kitty. Um, but we'll just draw the elephant and the kitty. Um, and first, we'll start with our drawing exercises. Oh yeah, let's let's get our like wiggles out and do some arm exercises. So. Let's like move our shoulders. My shoulder really hurts. So, see that? Come on, Mara. You got, oh, I know. My nose really hurts. I don't know if you guys see my bum. A little certain someone was sleeping with me and uh, decided to headbutt me in the middle of the night. So, I woke up with a big, well, I woke up right away and now I have a big bump on my nose. So, just so you know. Okay. Cool. Then let's get our fingers ready and our arms because we're going to draw with our whole arms. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> uh, it's like I'm swimming, so pretend to swim maybe. And Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. And move your wrists around. You draw with our wrists. Remember, we draw with our shoulders, our wrists, and our fingers. The little, little details, medium details, and big shapes. Okay. Elephant will be a big shape. Okay, so hopefully you guys have a practice paper and a pencil or or a crayon, but if you have a pencil, that would be great. You can run and grab one. If you only have a marker, that's okay. We're just going to have a lot of practice lines, and we're going to um, practice drawing very lightly so that we can erase. Right. Today, we're going to do drawings that have a lot of, we're going to, but practice some gesture drawing to determine art. That's like lots of loose movements, lots of lines. Um, so we're going to practice that. Okay. So here's my paper. I think everyone's okay. So cameraman will come over here. Someone's trying to say something. I can't tell. Oh wait, does somebody I can't tell. need to have a question? Okay. If not, that's okay. Okay, so here we go. Here's my practice. So we're gonna practice drawing lightly. So just draw the lightest circle you can. So just don't press hard. It's gonna be so light. And you can do lots of them. Okay, that's fine. So uh, Chloe, you using oil pastels. You can practice drawing lightly with the pastels, like so lightly, or you can use a light color, like something like yellow or light pink or peach so that, that covers up easy because you can just also color over it, or you can draw lightly with pencil and cover the oil pastel. So anyway, moving my hand. So another thing, try to draw a circle in the air, in the air a few times before, and when you like the shape, then you touch your pencil down. So try to make these marks up in the air, and then I'm gonna land and make a mark when I feel like I'm making a good circle. Very light. Practice super light touch. You're, you're not pushing hard on your paper. It's just your pencils barely touching the paper. Maybe make some a lot too light overlapping circles. And you can practice and see if you erase in the middle. See if it makes that little blob. Yeah, so maybe I'll practice making a blob guy. I'm gonna do some circles, maybe Let's even a square. Maybe a, see my, my triangles, my lines aren't very good until I get a little bit of practice in. 
I'm going to do a big circle here. Just little shapes, doesn't matter what they are, intermixing, and then I'm going to erase all the middle and see what, I, what comes out of it. So this is just draw any shapes, intermixing, and practice erasing. So you'll see if you push too hard, it's harder to erase. So see, I got this weird shape. What about mine? <laughs> Okay, there's hair bows. Light, 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 light. You can do light shapes. Practice light lines, too. Yeah, later on, we're going to have, a you know, rainbows parting out. Some people are exploding out of the animals, so you can practice little uh, streams, lines, kind of, that are follow each other, do multiple, one right after another. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. You do have the same shape as me. So basically, as long as it's light, it can erase. But if you push too hard, look, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to push really hard. Look. And sometimes you might notice the next paper will have an indent. Whoopsie, because I pushed so hard. And then I try to erase it. Look, it doesn't erase all the way. You could still see it. Plus, if I drew something, try to cover it up, sometimes you you still see those indents no matter what you do. See, I'm trying to cover it up and it almost just makes it stronger, which is a cool technique to do something else, but not today. Alrighty, so I'll let you guys do that for a minute. And we're gonna first draw the elephant. So you can have, um, you can later pick to do your animals on the same page or two different pages. Okay. Do you guys think that the elephants are the largest uh, land animals? No. No? What's the largest land animal? Mammal. Nope, Kinsey knows. Okay, Kinsey. So, it's a mammoth. So the biggest land animal is an elephant. Yes. And the biggest and the biggest sea water, the sea, I mean, marine animal is a blue whale. Yep, you are right. Yep, elephants are the biggest, you guys. And they live in families called herds, and we live in families. But the, but the herds are, oh my God, but the herds are all women. Did you guys know that? I didn't know they were all female women. And parades. They call them parades also. Oh, I didn't know that. God. Whoever, who said that? Is Disney. Wow, thank you. Okay, so let's start on our, I'm gonna, okay, so I'm gonna make my paper horiz, uh, horizontal, which is landscape, going left, sideways like this. You can do it whatever you want, but this might, I know I'm gonna fit my elephant and my cat. My cat's gonna be smaller than the elephant because that's how it is in real life, but you don't have to have yours like that. You can have a giant cat and a tiny elephant. So we're gonna, Draw lightly. What was that, assistant? What are we going to do? Draw hardly. What? No, no, no. Don't listen to her, you guys. <laughs> Don't draw hard. Draw light. Oh, yes. Oh, thank you, cameraman. Um, oh, yeah. We need to leave room for the rainbow. <laughs> so this is going to be the area where I put my elephant. Maybe I'll put the cat sitting on top of the elephant. Yeah. So let's l very lightly draw this weird kind of like rounded square circle thing. And you can go over it a few times, but just make sure it's light. Um. And, oh, um, okay, then off to the left. Now remember, this is important. Make it on this, around the same top line as the top of the body. Move, make a kind of curved line going off to the left, not as big as the main body. And make this kind of curved shape. Yeah, do you guys know that the oldest female in the herd is called uh, the matriarch? And that's always the leader. 
and elephants, since they live in herds of, of uh, ladies, lady elephants, they're all, they're aunties. Isn't that cute? Yeah. I the watched, baby, what? I watched this documentary and I just finished it. It's really cool. Cool. Okay, so right here towards the bottom, not all the way at the bottom of the weird shape we body shape we made, maybe a little up here. So not about halfway, a little lower. I'm gonna make another curved line that connects. And if you want, you can make him his that's his trunk, make it have a little divot shape there. And I kind of pushed hard on that one, but I, sh I should push a little lighter. And yeah, baby elephants stay with their moms, or at least the boys, until they're 15. And then they usually live alone like the other boy bull elephants, male elephants. Okay, bonus question. Does anyone know what they eat? Yes. Yes. What? They bark. Yes. Leaves. They yeah. eat plants, grass. Yeah, and they're, they're vegetarians, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to make a line for the leg. And another leg, the hind leg. You make them kind of fat. Make sure, remember, elephants stomp, so their legs are pretty thick. You make them too skinny, it might look like a weird fat deer. Oh, look at Parable's making a tiny little elephant. Tiny. Elephants love water. Oh, they love bananas. I didn't know that. And you guys know that they're so clever, they can peel their own bananas, corn, and other food? That's so cool. Every elephant is clever. Every elephant is clever? Okay. Um, let's do some back legs. So here's a leg behind it. Remember, it's going to be a little smaller, a little shorter, because it's further away. Remember, we talked about perspective. And if you don't remember, it doesn't matter. Just draw it. <laughs> Do you guys know why elephants paint their toenails red? Why? So they can hide in a strawberry patch. <laughs> I know. What do you call a, an elephant covered in mud, Parabo? Um, um, Dirty. <laughs> okay. You'll, you guys calm down from laughing so hard. <laughs> And we'll finish drawing. And um, where were we? Okay, the, we got the back feet. Oh, we need some ears on this elephant. So let's go back to the head. And right about here, I'm going to make a large ear. So it's kind of like this curve shape, curve shape, make it pretty long. Curve shape. You can make them really, really long and huge and it'll look like Dumbo. And if they look too little, it might look a little funny. But I'm sure there's all different kinds, just like people. I'll close up the bot, the belly. Oh yeah, the back here. So we'll just sticking out just a little bit in the back right there. Um, I'm gonna color in the body here. And this might be a good time for me to do a little erasing. Erase where that main body line that was going that's going through some of my new lines. And if your lines show, that's okay too. You might cover it up with color or sometimes it's cool to see construction lines. It's whatever you want it to be. And your elephant can look any which way you want. This is our picture. If we wanted it to look exactly like real elephants, we'd go take pictures. Okay, tusks. now tusks. So right, uh, right here in this little curve, I'm gonna do almost this curvy coney shape. And a smaller one on the other side. I'll close it out here, curve. And you can erase. Mine are kind of thick, but that's okay. Whatever you want them to be. Yours doesn't even have to have tusks. Wait, no, mine's girls, so she doesn't have tusks. Parabo, um, what is large gray and wears glass slippers? Um, a 
Cinderella elephant. <laughs> okay. Hey, Aubrey, what do you get? What do you call an elephant with an extra long nose? A smell elephant. I know, these are horrible. Um, okay, so let's make a little eye or however kind of eye you want. I'm gonna make mine a girl. I like to make lashes. You can just make a regular eye. Just make whatever kind of eye you want, but around this size, around this area. <clears throat> oh, and then I'll make some lines for like kind of wrinkles on the trunk. Oh, I forgot to erase erase the line of the trunk that's going through the tusk because the tusk is in front of it. You won't see the trunk. Oh boy, Parable's got a tiny elephant. Yes, I like tiny. So Parable, can you show us how to do the um, the tail? So let's. Well, okay, never mind. Start about there. Go down, and then there's like a little pointy. Like a paintbrush, almost like a little circly pointy tip. Okay, I'll do it too because Parabos is so tiny. I don't know if you could see. So right along the booty here, you'll draw. I'm gonna drop in a line straight down. And if you don't know where to do it, kind of I would practice, and then just follow the line of the booty, and then go down. And I'm gonna curve mine out a little bit. And then there's like this kind of curvy shape there usually. Oh, my mean's nail polish. Oh, no. Mommy, Toenails. you should put the tail up because oh, you're he's right. farting. Oh, you know what? Parable made a point. Okay. Our, who, if you're going to make a farting elephant, you might want to lift the tail up. <laughs> lift the tail up. I don't think it matters because my rainbow could have gone down this way. But let's see. I'll make it. Woo! The tail got blown up because of the fart. So you can change that, or you guys, or leave it. Um, oh yeah, don't forget the toenails. Okay, so there's our elephant. I'm gonna wait to do my uh, rainbow farting for now. Do you guys want, well, let me just see, raise your hands. Do you guys wanna wait and draw the cat first, then do the rainbow fart? Let's see. Or do you guys want to, oh, okay, let me ask that again. Raise your hand if you want to draw the rainbow fart right now. Me. Well, okay, there's one, two, only two. Sorry, guys. We're going to draw the cat first. Yeah. So I'm going to draw the cat on a separate piece of paper just because I um, want to make sure you guys see but you can draw the cat on the same paper you could even have the cat sitting on top of the elephant we're going to draw a sitting cat hey parable do you have an extra paper i know oh sorry my my assistant stole my paper you guys that's all right There's Here. A thank you <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I'll put it in my book. Yeah. Kitty cat, we'll draw a sitting cat. And is Auntie Amy here? No, and we're, she wanted to draw the cat. Oh, well. All right, so we'll do a sitting cat. So remember, we're going to um, draw very lightly. So it's going to be kind of a longer cat. Make sure to keep room on the right-hand side for a, a fart, so. Why do I need a fart for my cat? You don't have to, you actually don't have to. This, you, you, there just need to be a fart. So first let's start off with a circle. Remember you can make it very light. You can go over many, as many times as you want, as long as it's light. The more times you go over and move your hand in this direction, the better and nicer your circle will be. Just remember to do it lightly. And we'll do another circle underneath maybe a little longer, just barely, just barely. And now a larger one 
on the bottom. And I'll, I'll let you guys do it for a minute. A large one on the bottom, off to the right a little bit. It's almost going to look like a falling down snowman. Kitty, kitty, kitty. <clears throat> oh, I have an interesting cat fact. Did you guys know that um, most calico cats, that calico cats are the cats that have like brown, black, and orange spots, and they're usually white with those spots. Almost all of them are female. That's so interesting. So did you know that cats don't really eat fish? They don't really eat fish? No. I didn't know that. Are you sure? Well, sometimes in their food, but not really. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so now let's add some ears to make it look like more like a cat. So the top head, if you didn't, top circle, if you didn't notice, is going to be the head. So just so you guys know where we're going here. And the two other two circles are the body. So make some little ears. Cats can jump seven times their height. So that's like seven feet probably, or more. <laughs> Haribo can jump triple time her height. Just kidding. <laughs> also, cats have 24 whiskers. I did not know that. I, th I didn't know there was a specific number. Number, yeah. Okay, now, oopsie, let's merge some of these circles together. So this is going to be the neck. So you can draw two little tiny lines. Remember, stay, stay light here. This is kind of the shoulders. We're thinking of, well, you guys really want to know this is the spine of the cat. And it, the body goes down. And then it goes around here, around the, the rump, the booty. And on the other side as well. But I'm going to make it a little sleeker. Some cats are nice and slick and and move really sleek and nice and are skinny. And then I'm sure you guys have seen there's lots of fat cats there too. <laughs> Does anybody have a fat cat? Yeah. Oh, you do, Ripley? I wish we had a fat cat. I don't. Oh yeah, you're allergic, I forgot. That's why we don't have a cat. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys know that in ancient Egypt, people used to shave off their eyebrows whenever their cat died and they were sad? I'm not even kidding. Okay, so now let's, right here, you guys got a little bit of the body down. Let's draw the, right here will be the hind leg. That's the back leg. And it's kind of this circular shape. So I'm just gonna draw in the air. I'm drawing in the air. And then I'm gonna follow a curved line near this bottom that goes around like this and then comes out for the paw. How many hours do you think cats sleep a day? 14. 14, ooh, close. 16 to 18 hours, that's almost the entire, oh, sorry, oh, Bray, you raised your hand, I'm sorry. Okay, well, next, next question. Yeah, 16 to 24 hours is almost all day, even if they're, uh, but even if they're just laying down and resting. Mm. Do you guys think there's bones in cat's tails? No. No. Yes. There are. I did not know that. Okay. I did because there we have that skeleton cat. I know, um, can I ask you something? Sure, wait, let me just draw a little, a little then we'll draw the two front paws, so. I'm starting with the outside one, making a little circle here, and then just a little half curve circle there. And if you mess up, remember, just erase. I'm gonna so, erase my one. Yes, Izzy, I think it's Izzy. She's got a cat in right there. <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to get her. So did you know that in elephants' trunks, there's no bones, just muscles? Interesting, that makes sense that they can move it around so easily. Yeah. yeah, that's why. Um, erase, erase, erase. Oh, I got to make a line for this paw. I mean, this front paw. You can make little divots for their paws if you'd like. This is their back paw. Okay. 
Now let's go up to the head. Um, oh, well, so you guys can, um, let's just, let me just finish the head. Practice, now we're gonna, you can do a little bit of uh, darker lines. You can erase if you want to, or erase lightly. And if you want, you can make little, kind of, these little staggering kind of furry lines to show that it's fur. However furry you want to make your cat. And whenever like a line kind of swoops down, like right here, that's where you can kind of make more fur, where it gets more tucked. Maybe in the middle there a little bit. And remember, it's better to erase when you're doing your final lines. So erase, erase before you do your final lines. Otherwise, they just get in the way. I'm saving the tail for last, if you guys didn't notice. Okay, now you guys can do any face you want. Let me let you do that for a minute. But, uh, but if you want, I'm going to show you how I do a face. And did you know that their nose pad, every single cat's nose pad, pad is unique, kind of like a human's fingerprint? Their nose pad, the little lines on their nose, are every single cat's is different. It's like their fingerprint. And it's called nose leather. I did not know that. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to the head. You did know all that, Chloe? Ooh, see, I didn't know any of that. You must be a cat. Do you have cats, Chloe? Um, I have a dog because my dad is allergic to cats. Oh, right, yep. See, Parabo and her dad are allergic. But you know a lot of cat facts, so that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a line in the middle, wherever I want the center of his face to be, I'm gonna do the middle. I'm gonna do a straight line, call the center line, make these so light. And then I'm gonna draw a horizontal line where I want like the, the, the tip, the, the nose to be. And where those lines meet is where I'm gonna make the nose. So I'm just gonna put a little, a little nose here. Remember those lines have to be so, so light. And I like big kitty, kitty eyes, so I'm gonna kind of do two big eyes. Curved shape, it's curved shape. I like to do eyelids, little circle in the middle. Don't ever draw a full circle. When you draw a full circle, that's a cat's eye or a human's eye, it makes them look like um, their eyes are wide open. So I just do kind of a half circle. The finish of the circle is underneath the lid. Okay, we'll do a little bottom, a little bottom. And kitties, they're um, the little, the pupil, the little black part of their eye in the center of the eye, we have little dots called pupils. Theirs is straight, like a sharp kind of, you only see part of it like a long pointy, um, my cat looks tired, pointy uh, triangle, skinny triangle. I have a very tired cat. Maybe, maybe he just ate and he's, that's why he's, gonna fart he's tired gonna go to sleep okay and then I'm gonna do a little mouth draw some little dots and whiskers and you can always add more detail or just keep it really simple Okay, I'm gonna do lashes after all. And did you guys know that the um, cat's tongues have small little hooks all over them? Tiny, tiny, tiny little hooks, which help them, you know, bathe themselves when they're licking themselves and helps them tear up, tear food. And that's why it feels like sandpaper when cats lick you. One time I sat on my couch for about an hour and my cat just kept licking me. <laughs> and you let him? <laughs> yeah, I let him. 
Well, then you're that that must that part of you must have been real clean. Terrible, your tongue feels like sandpaper too. Do you think you're part cat? Ah. <laughs> okay. Dress Hi, Chloe. No, oh, you're funny. Okay, so here's the the tail. So now, we guys, remember, moving your arm, moving your arm, gesture, gesture, big shapes that are kind of loose. So what you can practice, and if you draw really light, this will help other drawings. I can make the tail go up like this. I'm gonna maybe I want it to go like this, but. If the more motion you have, like the, the nicer it will feel. Maybe I'll have the tail coming up like this. Oh wait, but we're, if I, or you can have it just coming straight up like that. Maybe that's what I'll do. So I just well, tried out a few different tails to see which one I like. I'm gonna like it, I'm gonna do this one that's straight up. Erase, erase my other ones. Mm. So a long tail. Your tail can be however long you want. Oh yeah, maybe. Oopsie, mine got a little. My long cat tail. and elephant are going to be farting a, a rainbow. Nice. We're almost at the rainbow part. Yeah, and keep your tail light, because if you made your kitty fuzzy, you probably want to make the tail fuzzy, too. So, I know our drawings, I'm, we might not have a lot of time to color since we do, drew two animals, but, um, okay, might be farting time. <laughs> you guys ready for farting time? Yeah. <laughs> what, oh, yes? Uh, I have a cat bag. Wait, you have a what? I have a cat bag. A cat bag? Oh, cat bag. Okay, Kinsey, let's hear it. Braddock. This is yawning. You know let's wake him up. <laughs> Wait, As what? You know, so when a cat cleans themselves, sometimes they get their fur stuck on their tongue. Oh. And that's okay because their fur has vitamins that helps the cat. But that's when good. the fur is out of it them up, as oh. you know, as I. <laughs> wow, that is, I did not know that. That's so interesting. So the fur balls and hair balls are actually kind of good for them. Cool. Okay. Uh oh, my cat just farted. Uh, mine's going to be electrical. So I'm going to have like almost these zigzaggy shapes because it's like electricity, like lightning. <laughs> and I'm gonna do multiple so I can color in the, a rainbow later. And you know what? My cat is kind of magical, so stars came out Ooh. too. So I'll have one, two, three, four colors. Or, I mean, you can have a magic, my elephant is just very, my elephant is, is a, a girl and she's just, oh, she farts like, like, you know, very light and sparkly. So my elephant fart is gonna be more airy and flow because it's beautiful. And also, the way you guys color something in shows kind of the mood of it. So if I'm coloring in the, the kitty one, you guys just keep drawing. I'm just going to do this and talk with that. And um, if I color it in more aggressively like this, it's going to be out of the lines, but you'll feel that energy, you know? So it's going to be like, Rawr! <laughs> it kind of feels more electrical and feels more um, energetic. I like my colors to kind of overlap, then it really feels like they flow into each other. Terrible is a calm kitty. So my cat's like, Rawr! has more energy. But when I color in my, um, 
my little elephant. And your rainbows don't have to be any specific colors. I'm gonna have a more pastel-y rainbow on this side. But if I color it in more light and gentle, it's gonna have that feel. And the more precise it is. And don't forget, you can do a gradation too, where it's a little darker on one side and then gets lighter. I see. My kitty doesn't have any color on her body because... Let's see, her, let's see Pebbles kitty. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't have to have any color. Okay, I'm coloring in the orange now. And you guys can still keep drawing. I just wanted to make sure I showed a little bit of coloring. So, see if it's a, if it's a kind of a smoother, cleaner coloring. It has a different energy than this crazy cat. Yeah. <laughs> Look, see, a tulip even survived in the elephant fart because that's how pleasant it was. <laughs> but near my kitty, I think some, there's some flies around here. I said a place of flies. Flies, I just like to do like a little circle, colored in, and then put two, some or four, two or four little shapes for wings. Okay, do you guys want to show me any of yours or do you guys have any questions? I want to show mine. I would love to see. I'm not sure who said that, but I will find you. Oh, Bray, let's see yours. Hold on. Oh, oh my gosh, that elephant looks amazing, Bray. Wow. <gasps> that fart looks great. <laughs> Magical. Oh, Zola. Oh, love it. I like your letters there too. Let's see. Oh, Kinsey, I can see yours. You, oh, I like your trunk. That's beautiful. Let's see, Braddock, I'm seeing yours. Oh, I love your kitty. You put stripes on your kitty. Can I show mine? Sure. Is that you, Izzy? Yeah. Let's see. Great work, Braddock. Let's see, Izzy. Whoa! Is your I like what your the yellow what your what's on your cat is it closed? It's like a butterfly cat. Oh my gosh! It's so cool, and it's on top of the elephant. Okay, Izzy. Can I show that? mine? Sure. And you guys send me these too, please. Let me put my cat in my elephant. Let's see, Ripley. Oh, cool! Cat and then elephant. Let's see, elephant. Wow, beautiful elephant. That face looks so real. Cool, guys. So, I have a question. For next week, there's two options. I guess you can show me. Two. What is in the one I chose last night? See. Two options for next week. We can either, I was thinking we draw a person. Any person we want, we learn how to draw a face. Or mystery, mystery cards. I have these fun kind of cards. And you guys... I pick a person to pick and I'm just gonna shuffle and pick and whatever we is on the card, we, we draw it. What do you guys see? Let's vote. Who wants to do um, mystery cards? Me. Me. Not me. Me. Oh gosh. Okay. Me. I think mystery. So let me pick a person. Let's see here. We'll do that one. 
Okay, all right, let's see. Fred, when I, um, I'm gonna take my cards out and when you tell me when to stop and then I'm gonna pick a card. So I'm just, okay, just tell me when to stop. Stop. stop okay, me. all right, everybody, let's see what this is. Flower. Oh, flower. Okay, so some sort of flower. Could be flower crown. Okay, let's pick one more. Maybe we'll mix them together. Right. Let's see. Who should, oh, wait. Let's see. Who should I pick? Somebody who wants to pick. Oh, somebody had their hand up. Was that Mara? Okay, Mara. Is that you? Mara. Okay, we'll do Mara. Tell me when to stop. I'm looking at your face. Did she say stop? Okay. Oh boy. Uh oh. What is it? Let me see. It's a beetle. Dumb beetle. Dumb beetle. A beetle. Okay, so flower with a beetle. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Great. Yeah, good thing we didn't get this one. That's very complicated. A fire. <laughs> okay, so that's, oh my, are you drinking wine this early? Yeah. In the it's very <laughs> juice. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's what we'll draw next time. Carol want to draw a baby wolf. Well, we'll, we'll that we can save, we did animals this time. We'll, we'll, um, we'll do it again next time. I mean, we'll do that maybe the following. All right, guys. After our vacation. Yeah. You can keep coloring. Um, Natalia, can I tell you something? Of course you can, Izzy. My my cat uh -huh. is like, oops, because she farted. Oh my goodness! Is there are there rainbows all over your house now? Well, it's like a, it's like three different colors, and then I put a couple stars. Oh, let me see your cat. If you're showing it, Izzy. Oh, I love it. And it says, oops. So let's, let's do that on mine too. You guys can always have your animal or person or look anything. At mine, look at mine, look at mine. Um, having a little caption. So to do a caption bubble, I usually do, a, again, a light oval and then a little kind of two hooks and I connect them and then I make it stronger on the outside. And what do we, this one to say, my, mine's gonna say, ah, cause he's so happy. Or she. Wait, can I show mine again? Sure. Can I show mine? I like scribbled a bunch of color on both of them because it looks cool. Uh -huh. Oh, Parable, yours looks wonderful. You into the background. Oh, wait, that no, was. No, wait, where's Parable? Okay. Oh, yeah. And uh, I'll do one last thing a little shadow. So the light's coming from here. I think I'm going to make the kitty go this way. So, something like that. There's the tail. And there's the explosion. And that's going to be. Okay. I'll keep the beetle out for next week. All right, guys, and you can color whatever background you want. You can add, add the space like we did last week or mountains behind him or nothing behind them. And remember, the more times you draw it, the better you'll get at it, and the better, the nicer and cleaner it'll look. Um, whenever we draw something once, it's never going to be our best. That's why we try to do practice drawings. Wow! That's great, honey. Okay, so yeah, these are ours, and thank you, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. We'll see you Bye. next time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, thank you guys. Have Bye. a good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, beautiful, Chloe. Oh, beautiful, Bye. buddy. Bye. I'm